There is no letter, there is no nothing. It is a simple request yeah. and it is in your own department. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me again, Jessa and Travis. We have gathered a bunch of questions uh, from TikTok, from Instagram and from Facebook. YouTube and from Facebook uh, of so we put together a compilation of questions that we're getting almost on a daily basis and it's about our mostly about our scams and uh, possibly some other things so Jessa put these questions together she's going to read me the question and I'm going to give the most thorough answer uh, that I can so everyone is aware because again a lot of these questions we're getting on a daily basis yeah because some of the question is Tagalog so I will just translate it to you babe okay so first one this is the first and top questions that were that they're always asking so hi Jessin Travis I am I am one of your followers on YouTube today I watch about red flags on you as soldier I want to make sure if my chatmate is scammer or legit because he asked me yesterday to make a request letter and send the mail to his commander officer for vacation leave. I want to know if in the cam cannot make a video call. So that sounds like a two-part question. Mm -hmm. uh, one, you're not e first off, you're not emailing or mailing any packages to a base commander. Okay, so let's get let's just let's just get that straight right off the bat. Uh, if anyone is asking you to put together a letter, or put together a package, put together anything uh, at all to be sent to a base commander, a base captain, uh, however the scammer is wording it, it is 100% a scam. No base commander, no base captain is going to receive a package or a letter stating anything about leave, anything yeah. about vacation of any sort never ever okay because diba your vacation leave is free so there's no ano babe right letter nothing so, mm. there is no letter there is no nothing it is a simple request yeah and it is in your own department wherever he the person works so you know without a doubt that that is a scammer and the second part of the question was can they video call within a camp with basically they're saying within a satellite facility or a remote facility or some kind of camp yes they can the question is though is where is the camp what is their mission and are phones allowed so there are always places inside the camp where phones are allowed uh, certain things won't be allowed such as GPS and whatnot for obvious tracking reasons uh, however if they don't have their phones allowed, they have computers that have Skype and different uh, oh. network accesses where you have a special room you can go in to actually talk. But most of the time, <clears throat> excuse me, these scammers, they're going to tell you, I can't talk. I'm on a special peacekeeping mission, commanders, uh, stuff like that. They're going to add these weird out of the, you know, out, weird just words in there. And you know that they're scams. They are not they are not true. So yes, you can video call inside a camp in designated areas. Mm, so you have that specific air, specific room for Anubay. You do. Some areas. Most camps will have oh. the designated areas. I see. And the next one. Hi, I want to ask some advice or info, sir, because I am dating U.S. Army. We are been one year, and he want to meet me in person, but I never see him or talk in video call. So that question is pretty vague. Uh, I would need more information uh, for that. Uh, one, why are you dating someone you've never seen? Yeah. Why would you waste that much time with someone you've never seen? Because a picture is not enough. A video call to verify that person is who they say they are is essential to knowing that they are who they are. Uh, so we'd have to get back to that individual on that question. There's not enough information. I don't know yeah, how long they've talked. Um, I need more information, but you should never date someone that you don't know who they are, right? So don't waste your time. If they won't video call, block them and move on. Because before you go to the next step, babe, no, you should uh, do some video calls, no? Hundred, yeah. If before you move because they want to see per in person before you move on you always want to do a video yeah. call i want to know who you are 
Because if you're not showing me your face, guess what? You're probably not who you say you are. Yeah. Guaranteed. Okay, next one. But is it possible that there are real ones too military using hangouts too? So yes, uh, as far as this is the, you, a lot of scammers bring you to Google Hangouts. They tell you it's more secure. Uh, they give you all of, all of that stuff. And uh, Google, they, they use the Google Hangouts mostly. Um, it's a trend. Uh, some of them use WhatsApp, but a lot of them stay off of Facebook and Messenger, right? Because it's attached to a social media. So Google Hangouts, the thing with Google Hangouts, yeah. it can be attached to any email, made up, fake, it doesn't matter. Now the thing with WhatsApp is you have to have a designated number, mm -hmm. right? So the, the perks of a scammer using Hangouts is you never know their identity. Yeah, However, no if you're using WhatsApp, it has to be associated with a number. So mm -hmm. it's trackable. They use Google Hangouts because it's not traceable. That email address can't be traced back to them because they could have a hundred fake email addresses. Okay, so scammers bring you to Google Hangouts because it's hard to track. They stay away from WhatsApp because it gives you their phone number and they don't want you to know their phone number. Mm. Okay, next one. This Tagaga will just translate. Sis, may tanong ako, totoo ba kapag nasa mission sila, kailangan pa nilang i-register yung number nila bago sila mag-video ko? So, she she is asking that if if someone, uh, the military, if they're deploying a mission, babe, mission, right? Okay. Do they need to register their number before they can do video call to their family, to their loved ones, to their girlfriend? What do you mean by register your number? Register their number. With who? With what? For yeah, what purpose? I don't know. She just, she, she asked that if they need to register the number before no. they do video, video call. So that, that comment doesn't really make sense. Uh, so the context of registering your number, uh, I'd have to know why are you registering your number? What phone service are you trying to use? So mm -hmm. no, that just doesn't make sense. Like that, okay. if someone's like, if someone's saying, I need money to register my number, I think that's probably what's happening is, yeah. hey, can you pay me so I can register my phone number? No, look. So th we can video call, no? Yeah, no, nah, uh-uh. So, you know, bases have Wi-Fi, um, and if the service member needs a phone number, yeah. they can go get a SIM card in any country, and they can have Wi-Fi right off their phone. They can have mobile data. Mm -hmm. uh, so that... The, the context of the question is a little difficult to read because she I don't think they understand what actually what, what type of question that they're trying to ask okay. because there's no registration of phone numbers because if you're in the United States you'd have to register a United States phone number and they number. can use Wi-Fi to do video call right? yeah they can use Wi-Fi no need to register no, number nothing no, no need to register anything okay next one paano sis paano kung sa voice call sila available what if there is only they are only available through voice call, babe. That's a lie. <laughs> that, you, that's no a lie. Video call. That's a lie. That we, we live in the 21st century. Yeah. There is always a time to, there is always a chance to video call. Mm. And if someone's telling you that they can't video call, they're lying to you. You're being lied to. Know the red flags. That is a huge red flag. Oh, I can only voice call. Why? Yeah. Where are you? I'm on a special mission in a peacekeeping mission no you're not you're lying so please know these red flags um they're not they they can video call you but they're choosing not to because they are not who they say they are okay next one sis totoo ba yun na pag ayaw nila i-assign sa war zone may katumbas na bayad na 200 us dollar so if they want to assign to a, in, a, in a war zone, they will pay 200 US dollars. No, that makes absolutely no sense. Like I knew right when you said war zone, scammer, 100% mm. scammer. No way. So what is the question asking? Is it true that if they don't want to assign in a war zone, war they zone, have to pay? Yeah, they, ha no. they have to pay. Oh my gosh, that's so ridiculous. No, like, so let me, let me just like put this out there with this question. They're saying, if can I pay 200 US dollars to not yeah. get assigned to a war zone? 
No. That's if not the true. army is sending you somewhere, you're going. If the navy is sending you somewhere, you're going. If the Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, you're going. You do not have a choice. Yeah. You're not going to give the military money <laughs> to get out of your Remember, our service is volunteer. Mm -hmm. You're not going to pay the military money to get out of a, a, a combat zone. So no, you can tell right off the bat he's a scammer because he doesn't know what he's talking about. So now you know, if they're asking that question, they want, so basically sh he is asking her for 200 US yeah, dollars so to get him out of a war zone. Scam. It is a, it is a scam. Okay. So next one, I have a question for Travis. I don't know why these scammers are using WhatsApp and Google Hangouts. What's with these apps anyways? So we just explained that. Um, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll go into it really, really briefly. Uh, Google Hangouts is associated with an email address. Any Joe Schmo, any person in the world can make an email address and use Google Hangouts. WhatsApp is associated with a phone number and it's easier to track and it's easier for the FBI IC3 division to get a hold of. That is why most of the scammers will choose Google Hangouts because it is very hard to track and you don't ever have to put in legitimate information. Okay. So next one. Sir, I have a question. I have a boyfriend, military pilot from Texas. He's calling me in twice in Hangout. You think he's scammer? He told me better we chat in Hangouts for privacy, not in social media. So I would need, I would need more information, mm -hmm. but if he's a military pilot in Texas, I would be questioning why he's using Google Hangouts yeah. and why he's keeping you off social media and why is he worried about privacy? Yeah. Why? Because I tell you what, he's probably bringing you to Google Hangouts so you don't know who he is. Yeah, because but, there's no pictures. But I, I would need more information for that question. Okay. So that's it, babe. All of that, those questions that we got there. The, the, those are the questions that were... Okay. So, uh, a lot of those are good questions, but we, 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 get, we actually get a lot more. So the, the questions that I've been answering on Instagram almost on a daily basis is um, we have individuals that are trying to send the, the girl a, a package of money. Okay, so when, when these scammers are trying to send you money, they're using you and it's called a money mule. It's, it is basically because the money they have is dirty. It's dirty in their country, right? So they need to send it to you, probably to send it off to someone else, right? You're gonna hand off, which means you're an accomplice now. So money mules are typically used to launder or clean money. Um, you can look this up, it's all over Google, go to DuxDuxGo, look it up, money mules, laundering, how it works, okay, it's very dangerous to get wrapped up into. If anyone is asking you to receive money, they're a scammer. Uh, let's see, another one that I answered the other day was how um, specifically these uh, guys are saying they're on peacekeeping missions, uh, and if they ever mention their commander, right mm -hmm. right off the bat that word is what they love to use because it makes you think that they're talking about somebody of authority or someone important they're not okay they're 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 a, they're a scammer all right they're not on peacekeeping missions they're not talking to their commander and the biggest one is leave people taking Your military leave. leave military members do not pay to go on leave Unless yeah. I choose to fly home, I will pay for my plane ticket. But these individuals are receiving emails from fake military email addresses. They're fake, saying that my commander needs thirty thousand uh, dollars in order to do this, or it's a five thousand dollar processing fee to process to your fiance, girlfriend, uh, or wife's uh, leave uh, leave request and. It is 100% a scam. Be very careful about this. I literally answer questions on a daily basis about military leave scams because they're like, I really, want my, I really want my boyfriend to go uh, take vacation, but they're saying I, I have to pay 
$500. No, you don't. That is not the per You are talking to a fake person. Mm -hmm. Remember, these scammers, they do it all day, 24 seven, and you're, you're not the first person they did it to. They probably have 30 other girls or guys on the hook doing the same thing. So be warned, be warned. Please reach out to us and message us if you have Through any Instagram, questions. Instagram, guys. Our Instagram is jessa underscore trav07. And you can also message us through our Facebook at Jessa and Travis, or even on TikTok, we, we can also message direct to TikTok, right? Yep. If we are friends. Yeah. So moral of the story is uh, be careful who you're talking to. Nine times out of 10, if those specific keywords are, um, are said, they are gonna be a scammer. They're out to steal your money. They're going to use really colorful words to try to tell you that they love you, that they care for and you, that they want to the see one you. The other thing, if someone use our pictures, guys, let us know. Yeah, please let us know because there's one thing the babade yeah. is before we, they use our pictures. They said that that guy, his friend with Travis, the babade. Yeah, or or they might be using our pictures and we don't even know it, right? Our social media is open for you. Yeah. But that doesn't stop them from taking our pictures and using them to scam you. So if it's not coming from our official page, please let us know so we can shut them down right away. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, guys. And I hope this um, answers will help you guys and... Malinawan kayo. So yun lang. Thank you so much for watching. See you again All right. next time. Alright. Bye. Bye. Hey guys. Welcome back. It's me again. Jess and Travis. Hey guys. Welcome back. It's me again. Jess and Travis. You good introduction?